After you have a hurricane like uh, Irma and, and Harvey, uh, Sandy, Katrina, I mean, the very first question that people ask is, well, is this our fault? I mean, did this come out of our tailpipes and smokestacks? Would this have not occurred, do you see, without us? And, and, you know, the answer is simply is that they would have occurred without human beings. I think what we can say, though, is that there are certain components of the uh, hurricane that could very well be a result of human action, of burning more fossil fuels, of, of warming the air. We know the world is warmer. See, I think that with, with weather disasters, we haven't seen anything yet. I mean, our motivation for doing something about climate change is based not on what we've seen, it's based on what we're going to see. We just had a dress rehearsal, almost an opening act to what is in fact coming our way. If we're seeing our world's temperature warm up twice as fast in half the time, then we have to expect more wild weather. You can't prevent the hazard, but what we can do is prevent it from becoming a disaster by safeguarding, building stronger infrastructure to withstand that particular storm. And we've always done that as Canadians. We're, we're good at adapting to, to our weather. You don't just grin and bear it and fold your arms and say, well, nature's gonna get you. No, nature doesn't have to get you. You can actually build safer, more resilient communities and properties to withstand the, the, the growing power of, of climate change. Those smart people, those councillors and mayors that, that, that invest in, in infrastructure that can withstand more powerful storms, hey, they're not going to be ending up with, with smelly sewage in people's basements or, or having um, toxic water left in their, in their downtown cities. They're going to benefit by the fact that they were enlightened and they put a little extra money on making structures stronger to handle the storms of the future not the storms of the past. Climate is changing, and we need to make sure that our approach to it, our response to it, is growing and changing. And I think that nature is giving us um, a lesson, a heads up. I think always, you know, nature's always fair. There's no sneak attacks. It always kind of tells you what's gonna happen. And I think if it's our failure to learn from the past and not apply it in the future, that's our undoing.